So you might be trying to figure out how you can connect an external drive of some sort to your iPad. Now doing this is actually very basic and it really doesn't take too much time. But the very first thing you're going to want to see and make sure is that the external drive that you're using is supported on your iPad. So if you have an iPad with a lightning port, you are going to have to get a dongle. If you have a you know iPad with a USB-C port, you may not have to get a dongle depending on the specific you know external drive you're using. So to break it down, first things first, make your way over to the bottom of your iPad and take a look at that charging port. If it's a lightning port, you'll have to get an external drive. If it's a USB-C port, take a look at the other side of your external drive. If it's a USB-A port, clearly this is not going to plug into there. So you're going to have to get a USB-C supported external drive or a cheaper alternative is to just get one of these dongles. So these dongles will basically connect to the bottom of your external of your iPad right here. So you can just plug it into the bottom of your iPad. And then what you'll have to do to take your external drive and just go and plug it into the bottom of this thing. Now, these are very cheap. These are not expensive. These are like, you can get these for a dollar. In fact, I think they're probably like, they come in free with a lot of accept, like accessories. I've, you know, some phones may already have them built in too. So you might as well just use them from that. So at this point, what you can do is once it's plugged in, be very careful. Don't break it or anything like that. You could then make your way over to your iPad. In fact, you may also see that it's powering up your specific external drive. If you see that light on the front, it's powering up that external drive. So now all you have to do is make your way over to your files application. So now what you can do is make your way over to files. And once you're in your files application, you'll see a bunch of stuff. But right here, you should be able to see your external drive. So if I go and click on that external drive, you should be able to see that I am able to see these two different things come up. So now I do have access to this. Now, keep in mind that if your external drive is not supported on iPads for some reason, well, then it may not be supported here. But most of the time, if they're supported on Mac OS, they should be able to be seen here. So now you should be able to see all your files and whatnot. Now you can see it is only read only. So that means this may not be compatible 100% to this iPad, but that is exactly how to do it. So now you should be able to see, and if you see if I unplug this from here, and you can see as soon as I unplugged it, it did actually go away. So that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, I'll let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.